Hello and welcome to a video from Curious IT. Today I'll be showing you how to customise your Microsoft Dynamics Nav Role Centre from within the Windows client. Nav is a very versatile solution which can be customised in many different ways from both a developer and an end user level. In the video we will just be looking at the customizations that end users are able to complete rather than the more ta technical aspects which can be done by developers. Nav's role center can be seen here and it is essentially just a home page for when you open up Nav. It shows you various bits of information and gives you quick access to data and actions from within Nav that are specific to your role. Role centers will look different depending on your role, which will have been set up in Nav. At the moment you can see I have an accountant role center, but I'm going to change it to the sales order processor for the video. To change your role within Nav, type role tailored client into the search bar then go to user personalization, then click your user ID and then your profile ID. Once you've done that, you'll see a large list of preset roles which are already defined within Nav. Each of these will have a different role center which is tailored to them. So I'll just click the sales order processor, click OK, and then I'll quickly restart the application so we can see the changes. Now that Nav has restarted, you can see that the role center has changed and it's focused on sales activities rather than financials. To customize the role center, just head to the top left of the screen to the blue downwards facing arrow. You'll see a drop down menu where there is a customize tab with three different options to customize the ribbon, customize the page and customize the navigation pane, as well as a reset setting. We will go through all of these in the video, starting off with the ribbon. The ribbon is a familiar part of the majority of Microsoft products acting as a framework for the application, displaying various actions and commands. It allows for quick and easy navigation across the entire product. The ribbon is segmented into different groups, such as the new document one here. There can also be tabs included, like here where it says actions. However, on this ribbon, there is only one tab. You can also get menus, such as the reports here, which are under the customer. These hold multiple aspects, but also tidy up under one menu. So when customizing, you'll get a little pop-up like this, which contains all the options that you can have for customizing the ribbon. So let's say, for instance, this user doesn't want buttons for the sales quotes or, or the sales credit memos, but we want to make the buttons for the sales order and the sales return order larger so they're more prominent on the ribbon. Then we will remove the sales reports so they aren't displayed on the ribbon. We can also rename actions on the button, such as renaming the sales line discount action to just say discounts. You're also able to reorder the lists like, like here where I'm just moving up the tasks so they're shown second on the ribbon. And we're just going to simply remove the history group too. So once you click OK, Nav will refresh and show you the customizations which you've just applied. So now that we've customized the ribbon, we're just gonna move down the list and look at the customizations which can be applied to the navigation pane. The navigation pane is displayed on the left side of the screen and is used to navigate to various pages across Nav which are relevant to your role. For instance, here in my role center you can see they're all sales related. There will be different tabs depending on your role within Nav, but a lot of them will also include the other three tabs for posted documents, self-service and departments, presuming that you have the permission set to access these. When we go to customize you'll find a familiar pop out to the ribbon customization. We're just going to go ahead and remove a few, a few of the lists which are included on the home tab, just so we can tidy up a bit. We're also going to rearrange a couple of them and move them up the list. We're then going to go and do the same for the posted documents tab, just to tidy up a little bit and so we only have access to the ones we need. You will still be able to access these pages from within Nav, just not from the navigation pane. It will just have to be from the search bar. We're then going to go ahead and remove the self-service and departments tabs completely and add another tab for information, which will contain the item, contact and customers list. Once you click OK, you'll get another pop-up saying Nav needs to restart to apply these changes. But once you click OK, it will do so very quickly and you'll be able to see the changes which have been made. And so now finally, we'll move on to the actual role center customization. 
If you head to the same blue drop down menu and select customize this page, you'll get another pop out which is a bit different to the others. That's because the roll center is divided into two columns in which you can place different parts on. We're going to remove the self service part and add a blank chart part. These can be selected to have many different visualizations on. We're going to choose one for the customer sales and profits. So that data will be shown directly in the role center as a visualization. We're also going to, we're going to move that to the right. Then we're also going to move the items list to the left and remove the my notifications box. We'll then click OK and we'll see the changes that have been made. You can resize all the different elements which are on the roll center using the sliders which are available on the page to make them bigger or smaller, however you want. You're also able to set up queues for the uh, tiles which are displayed in the top left of the page, which shows uh, whether it's like the green, yellow or red. You can specify these to whatever your business requirements are. You are also able to add in different parts into the roll center, but this has to be completed at a developer level. We are just showing the ones which are available for any end user to use. So this has just been some basic personalization of what is available in Microsoft Dynamics Nav Role Center from a end user level. This video is showing it for the role center of the sales order processor, but for each other role that is preset within Nav, there will be a different role center and different customizations available. But it's all based around the ribbon, navigation pane, and the actual role center page. Customization is available all throughout Microsoft Dynamics Nav, not just in the role center, but it can be done on individual pages. Nav is a hugely customizable application and there is so much possibility for making it more efficient and work for you as an individual when working with the system. For any further information, please get in touch and visit our website. Thank you for watching.